Hey, y'all. Hey, good morning. How y'all doing? Hope y'all feeling good and well and all that little good shit. It is cold around this motherfucker. Well, as long as you know how to dress for the weather, please layer up, people. That's that's the key to being warm, is layering up. Just, you know what I'm saying? Put on two, three layers and go on about your day. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, you already know how I do it. I just jump right into it. Um, I want to talk about, like, <laughs> yo, this shit is fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, people who try to holler at you online. Now, y'all know I'm old school. I'm 52 years old. Like, all this old app shit and getting to know motherfuckers and putting your motherfucking picture up and you talking. I ain't with none of that shit. Like, I don't like it. My friend, mind you, y'all know I'm dateless. I'm dickless. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers will be trying to holler at me. Well, And I know whatever I'm doing, it ain't working. I get that, right? But however, I'm not seeking anything. You know what I'm saying? I like shit to be organic. Whatever the fuck. And I do believe that, like, in time, like, I will find somebody and somebody will find me, however that works. You feel me? But this shit online, like, getting to meet somebody online, like, nah, I'm not really, I'm not with that. So, but look, but check this out. I, I, I'm i an open-minded person. Y'all know that, right? So, now mind you, and y'all know I do, I post provocative photos. I do. Y'all know I, I'm a provocateur. I love provocative shit. I like eroticism. That's what this shit is all about, right? And I believe that it's a part of who I am as a person. It's been ever since I was little, like, on some real shit. So, as I look back. Um, so, it was some guys, like, you know, you they, you know, you crush me as a friend. Um, you know, you... You follow them back. Yo, what's up with you motherfuckers? Somebody follow you or you don't follow them back. What is up with that? What, everybody think they're a celebrity now? Bitch, knock it the fuck off. Like, yo, what's everybody trying to get on? Like, I want soup, so, or whatever. Like, if they follow you, isn't that courtesy that you follow them back? Bitch, you ain't VIP, or I guess you think you are. That, that shit just blows my mind. But whatever. I guess what makes it so different, right? So, um... This guy had now a nice looking guy, nice body. You know, I told y'all the bodies. I be looking like, well, who that? What, what do no one? What that do? What that do? What that do? And he had a nice face and shit. I was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, he cute, he cute. But he only had maybe like ten photos or whatever. Okay, whatever. But they all were the same person. So. Um, they, he, he hit me in the DM, hi, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you real, um, simple with it, I'm real simple with you. Or, well, I'm like real simple with it on that shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck the fuck we doing? Like, I don't even know you. Like, I'm not about to be having no full motherfucking conversation with you. You know what I'm saying? We gonna keep it light. And then we'll see what happens. So, but anyway, so he was like, hey, I said, hey. Whatever. And then one day I was just on my phone and my phone rang and I was, you know, how they can call you through social, through Instagram and Facebook and shit. So this was on Instagram. So he calls. I said, you know what? Let me answer this shit. So I answered it and he had it to where like he couldn't be seen and it was just a verbal conversation. So I answered and I was like, hey, how you doing? Mike, this is a big dude. Like, he like six something, black man, nice body, dress nice, all that old shit. Why when this motherfucker started talking, he sounded like, like either he was he was from fucking India, somewhere in Africa, some little, he probably was five, his voice sounded like he was five, three. I said, look, yo, you need to stop with the catfish and shit because you know this is not you. Don't call my phone no more and just click it. See, that's why I don't like that shit. Like, it's so many people who be on some fuck shit. Like, you not really talking to the real person that it is. People can take all types of... That's why I just don't... I don't fuck with it. Oh, and also... Now, this ain't happening to me in a minute, but I normally... I would always get dick pics. You know what I'm saying? Which is which is cool. And I don't mind looking at dicks. I like, you know, looking at a dick. Um... But please don't think that that's turning me on or nothing. I might use your photo for, some, for a future book or some shit like that. Uh, but I'm not into, like, your dick don't turn me on. So I don't understand, like, why, man, this is one thing y'all need to, oh, some real shit. Unless she acts, 
to see it unless y'all on that type of time and y'all got and, and the energy is there while y'all DMing talking whatever the fuck you know what I'm saying then boom they're okay but and if y'all already fucked they're okay but just some a random motherfucker you don't even know and you just send your dick like I don't want why are you sending me that like that's not turning me on that's not gonna make me like you I just like I don't give a fuck your like what your dick like that ain't how the, the, our women's connection with the with the man is more important than the dick. Now, mind you, that that shit we all know everybody is different, but for for most women it's that way. But some women, I guess you know, depending on her situation or whatever. She, yep, she look at the dick and be like, yeah, she want to suck that or whatever. But however, I have said though, for real, I have no. But see, it wasn't no a random dick. It was the dude that I was dealing with. Like he had like he had a pretty dick. You ever seen a pretty dick? Like his dick was so fucking pretty. Like I've heard dudes talk about pretty pussies and shit. Like this dude had a pretty dick. Like you just want to suck his shit. Like, oh my God. Like he had a really but but this is a dick that I knew. You know what I'm saying? Not like even if you have a pretty dick and you sitting on the thing, like I'm still not impressed by it. I still don't like that's not gonna make me like you. Like well, I'm not that type of girl. And for the most part, I don't think a lot of women are like that. Moving right along. <laughs> um, oh, and also due to the fact that I just told y'all that it's cold outside. And this is a key factor, like, of, of maintaining your beauty, men and women. Because I think everyone is beautiful. You should feel that you're beautiful. And that is to take care of your skin, Right. So due to the fact that it's cold, like you're gonna make your skin this shit makes your skin nice and, and dry. So always and also if you a hand washer, I've been washing my hands ever since before the motherfucking pandemic, which I always when I live in New York City, you shit, you touching all type of shit, but you have to wash your hands. So always have you some lotion there. Get you a nice little small little bottle. If you put your own little favorite lotion or make your own body butter or moisturizer and constantly like just always lubricate your hands, right? Not only your hands, but your body as well. Now you can find your own regimen, whatever works for you. For me, um, uh, this is white people's uh, regimen. Like they like to put lotion on at night after they get out the shower and shit. That don't work for me. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't do that. So what I do is I take a shower. I like to read and have my own natural oils, whatever. My skin may be a little dry. Like, I don't even know. No, I don't even feel dry now. Um because I take showers, uh, baths every night. I never put on no Vaseline, no lotion, no body butter, nothing. But when I get up in the morning and I have to and I go out. Of course, you know, I, I moisturize my body. You have to find whatever regimen works for you. I just don't tend, that doesn't work for me. I don't like to feel that, like, I don't like to feel nothing on my skin. I just like to be my natural self when I get out the shower and when I'm about to lay it down. You understand what I'm saying? So just make sure that you moisturize and also for your face. Now, the one thing about me, I don't do not, I don't put no soap on my face. I'm not a, a soap face person. Um, so I just wash my face with a face out with some, with hot water. That's it. Um, but I do use at night. I, the, that's the only thing I will put on my, on my skin. And that's something on my face. And it's some vitamin E oil. Like, you know, the a vitamin E oil. I have some vitamin E that also have like this lemon in it. So, and I like, I put that on my face and that's it. But you have to find your own regimen. But the key is, is that you have to lubricate, keep your skin lubricated. It's important that you do that so you can have nice, soft skin. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't know, even a woman don't want to like, well, I don't know. Everybody's different, but just take care of your skin. You know what I'm saying? Like, just always take care of your skin. Your, your, your motherfucking face, your, just your whole body. Oh, y'all listen. Guess what I've been watching lately, yo? I've been watching... Y'all know I'm big on teeth. I'm always looking at motherfuckers with teeth. Uh, and people, how they take turtle off and how so much people we having to tar... Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, God. Y'all don't be letting these motherfuckers put their mouth on your pussy and putting their tongue in their motherfucking mouth and they got all this shit going on in their motherfucking teeth. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You might use a dental dam or motherfucking like if if it's a if, if it's a dude put a dental dam down and shit or if it's a, a female her teeth all fucked up and she got a whole bunch of tartar and shit and the shit is all up here and all and some shit 
Bitch, you better make that bitch suck your dick with a motherfucking condom. What the fuck? Like, oh my God, that shit just grossed me all the way the fuck out. Like, oh God, no. Take Just take care of your hygiene, period. It's important. Brush and floss your teeth twice a day and floss once. I would recommend, because y'all know I wanted to be a dentist at one point. Um, I would recommend to floss your teeth at night. That's what I do. And also, when uh, one of my things uh, that my dentist told me is, uh, whenever you eat something, after you eat, always go to the bathroom, rinse your mouth out, and, and you know, rinse and spit. You know what I'm saying? To get all the bacteria and food particles that's just will just linger there until you flush your teeth later on at night. So it's just best to just just do that. So the key is to take care of your hygiene, cause don't nobody want to fuck nobody or or kiss nobody. Who motherfucking shit feel all rough, or if your motherfucking breath is like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? And also, people who smoke. Now, I don't smoke, I smoke weed, whatever, but even if I'm about to have sex or whatever, like, have you some gum, always have you some gum, a, a tic tac, or something in your motherfucking mouth. Don't know about, like, do y'all really wanna kiss somebody? Like, would you? Some people be, y'all be kissing motherfuckers with funky ass bro. Whoa, motherfucker, whoa, get this gum. Here you go. We we not even about to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Just take care of your hygiene. It's important because, you know, don't nobody want to fuck somebody with a fucky ass breath and, or no, like, nasty feeling ass skin. Although we know some motherfuckers will fuck motherfuckers. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> but you don't want to be that type of motherfucker. You feel me? So, anyway, uh, another thing, too, like, what? <sighs> your children, right? <clears throat> I talked to this before, about this before, about how do you talk to your children about sex. So just teaching your children, period. And also how to teach them how to engage with somebody um, socially and if some and people that they call themselves liking, right? So the one thing I just recently told my son, because I've always done it, and I was like, no, this is your company. You fucking do that shit. I said, whenever somebody come to you, invite somebody here, because clearly... You know, he know I don't like know anybody in my household. Whoever you invite, you, you trust them. You feel like it's okay for him to be here, right? Um, <clears throat> you always be hospitable. You ask them when they come in, you know, you show, tell them to have a seat. You know what I'm saying? Show them where they sit and at, whatever. And then you ask them, do they want something to, to drink? You know, because I'm telling you, like, my house is a house of the drinks. We, we got juice. We got tea. We got motherfucking cranberry juice. We got water. You know what I'm saying? I got wine. I got my whiskey. You know, not for the kids, but I'm just saying. You know, we always have something to drink. So I was like, you you always offer them something to drink. So he had a little girl come over, and uh, he, uh, and the one thing I liked is that, because I've taught him that, and he was like, you know, he asked her, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. You know, you have to teach your children to be hospital because it'll be grown people who don't know that shit. You go to their house, like, they don't know how to entertain you or be hospitable, like, but I'm at your house. What the fuck is you doing? Like, I don't, but because it's a taught behavior. So we have to teach our children these things and also how to interact. So look, so my son got this one little girl he used to date, and um, he said they, they, they're just friends, whatever. But every time he come home from school, this bitch with him. So I was like, oh, okay, no, nah. you know what I'm saying? And I like her, right? She cool. And now he told me he got this girlfriend that he met on Snapchat. I was like, boy, how you, what you mean? He was like, no, mom, we've been talking for like two months, whatever. She, I've seen her and all this whole shit. So I was like, all right. So he was like, he invited her over to the house. So I said, okay, so since you got a girlfriend, so what's up with a uh, homegirl? You like, are you going to tell her that you got a girlfriend? I said, because look, my, I said, I think, I said, either she really is just your friend. Like, hopefully y'all, if y'all, if you have that established, because the one thing I tell my son, like if it's a chick that you just, if y'all just fucking, you let her know. Like we just fucking, ain't no, this is what we doing. You know what I'm saying? And and um and if she just your friend, what she said they are, that she is, you know, but why is your friend coming home with you every day? Like, I mean, and this has been some some girl used to date. Uh he was like, I said, so what you gonna do now that you got a girlfriend? So, you know, I said, you need to just just for courtesy. And also, like, you be a man in a situation to let her know that you have a, a girlfriend. Like, if um, 
even if, if if in her mind that she's looking at you as a friend and as a friend because you value her as a friend and you trust this girl to come to my house you know what i'm saying um you need to you 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 tell her you know what I'm saying? Like we have to teach our children this shit. Because even people can't, like grown people don't even know that shit. If you value any fucking relationship, whatever relationship, you should be able to communicate whatever you need to communicate with that person. And you, you know what I'm saying? Rather you need to text it to them. They need the, the shit needs to be known. You know what I'm saying? So I said, like, this don't drag this girl around. I don't know what their situation is. So, you know. We have to teach our children. You have to teach. Because then, like, a lot of you grown motherfuckers don't even know how to do the shit. Like, the shit is crazy. That's why people be, you know, it's been a lot of, well, you know, I guess with these phones and shit, and I'm sure, like, this shit been going on for years. Like, people in these relationships and people, you know, not paying attention to the red motherfucking flags. These motherfuckers is possessive. These motherfuckers are insecure. And you continue to fuck with them. And then, yo, you can, your life get ended because this motherfucker don't know how to communicate because he got a whole, or she got a whole bunch of bullshit with her. You understand what I'm saying? Man, y'all pay attention to the red motherfucking flag. Stop ignoring shit. Stop just accepting people in your life just because you are alone. So fucking what? Bitch, get to know what the fuck you know you. Um, learn a craft. Uh, build a business. Do something, bitch. Get your spirit right. Your spurred has to be right at all motherfucking costs. You know what I'm saying? So you, the shit that you attract outside, because your spirit right, you will attract that. You understand? For the, for the most part. But then again, you also are knowledgeable to see when the fuck shit is coming to you to know, but like, nah. You know what I'm saying? So y'all let me know, you know, uh, what is your skin regimen? Teach your children to, to be social and also how to interact with the opposite sex or if they like the same sex, same shit. Uh, what's the first thing y'all talked about? Y'all? God damn it. What the fuck? Oh, and social media dating. Are y'all into that? Like, do y'all do that? Like, have you met somebody? And it was and it was cool, cause th there are some great stories and there's all sorts of fuck one. But but me personally, I just don't choose to want to be involved in that. So um, yeah, y'all let me know. Y'all know I'm here every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, eight a.m. ish, talking that real sex talk shit with your girl real. Um, I have a service called Seductive Art, and I focus on three specialized areas of sexual enhancement. That's real sex talk. Um, visual stimulation, how to visually stimulate your partner, and also selecting clothes that's perfect for your body type. And I know it's a, this is a cliche, but no, this is facts. So when you look good, you feel good. When you have on the right shit that's for your body type and you feel comfortable and confident, boom, there it is. Um, we, I help you with that. And also in the bedroom, like how, like if you dress up dominatrix, you know what I'm saying, how to carry that character throughout your sexual experience over if you're being submissive um, and how to carry that character throughout your throughout your sexual experience and so on and so forth. Um, then we have put on our heels, ladies, and I teach ESS was an erotic sexual and seductive dance. Now, all of these things are components of seductive art. Um, due to the... The fact that uh, Black History Month is coming, uh, Valentine's Day, um, and, you know, I celebrate black love and black sex and all that little shit. I will be teaching a free class on Facebook and on Instagram live. I'll be letting y'all know later on, um, probably later on tonight. No, probably more likely tomorrow. We got to make the flyer and all this little shit. Uh, the dates and the times. It's going to be a 30 minute class. You can like, I don't know. And if you don't follow me, uh, to be able to watch at the time that I'm going to actually do it live, you can also come back and watch it and, you know, take some pointers from it and shit. Um, so, yeah, so I'll be doing that. Um, Y'all know I wrote my first book. It's called Quickie. It's seven short erotic stories. Get that. Read why you fuck, fuck why you read. But however, there are two stories, which I got to tell y'all these, these two stories that you cannot read and fuck. Um, also, it's only $1.99. It's an ebook form only. Uh, you can read 20% of one story for free. The, all that will be down in the uh, description box. And also make your purchase. Like I said, it's only $1.99. I am a designer, a fashion architect. Instead of saying stylist, I'm a fashion architect because I get you together from your head to your toe. Um, 
The name of my brand is Real Nice by Real. Our slogan is all things fresh, honey. That's how we do it. That's the only way how we do it. Uh, and the name of this, my website is realnice.com. Sign up and you receive a discounted code. Um, I do have some scarves available, some faux fur scarves. Um, some of my creations, go check that out. You'll be stylish, warm, and cute all at the same motherfucking time. I have dresses there. I have hats. Um, I think I may be doing a new, uh, bringing back some some hoodies because I sold out on all my hoodies. You know, Shout out to everybody who have supported me so far, whether you supported me by buying something or with a kind words through whatever I do. I appreciate you. And I would appreciate you if I resonate with you um, and if you watch this video, please click that, click that. I would appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much for all that little shit. Oh, and also in the month of March, I am. I was saying I was going to do my own uh, workshop. However, I'm going to be a part of a women's um, empowerment because that's March is Women's Month. So um, I'm going to be a part of that. And I'll be letting y'all know about that. Y'all ladies come out and support that. It would be me and other people talking about s several things. And I think I'm also going to teach ESS, so erotic, sensual, and seductive dance. So we get sexy and sensual and erotic, honey. Yes. So, yeah, I look out for that. I'd like to say thank y'all so much. Y'all already know how I do when I lead this bitch. Um, be kind, be courteous, be on time, be focused, be a part of uh, your community, be a part of solution. Be a, be about your money. Be about your business. Be a great parent, a great lover, a great father, a great mother, a great sister, a great brother. Just great at all this shit. Be great at what you do. Be um, be grateful. Be peaceful. Be in good. Be of good intentions. Um, be positive. Um. Be woke, black people. Be be a part of of your um, heritage and be proud of your culture. Um, be opinionated. Be aggressive. Be boisterous. Um, and most of motherfucking importantly, regardless of what motherfuckers don't like you, who gives a fuck, bitch? Be you. I say that shit. I always lead with that because I'm telling y'all some real shit. Like, I don't know. I'm not here for to. My grandmother used to say, like, why are you so mean? Like, I've always been a person who say what I mean and I mean what I say. And I don't always agree with people. Don't be afraid to to disagree with somebody. I find that when you disagree with some, with people, people tend to take that shit like real fucking to heart, which is, which is okay because, you know, when you have the conversation. But yeah, but don't. Like, if I feel like you coming at me crazy... I will cuss your ass all the way out to where it will hurt you to the core. So watch your motherfucking language. But anyway, y'all have a great day. And I'll see y'all here tomorrow. Peace.